Hi guys. Was shaking. <laughs> All right. Let's look at these. Let's look at these these journals. Man, I think I worked on these for like I don't even know. I think it was like six months or something. No, not quite that long. But once I figured out <clears throat> that I was gonna do rings, it all came together. And I all of my anxiety about these journals just went away and I got excited and so I told you guys I was gonna kind of rock and roll and just get these done and so I did that's what I did and I just kept adding stuff so they did get a little bit chunky um, there's basically well so there was eight now there's seven um, there's three that have the images on the front the photos on the front and these are the original photos um, and then there's three that just have some kind of like floral design or something on them. Um, and Jimmy helped, <laughs> Jimmy helped a lot. He has decided that it's okay to just jump up on my desk whenever he feels like it. <clears throat> so we're working on boundaries. So anyway, so I apologize if, uh, you know, you see a cat hair or something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so let's take a look and see and see what's going on. Uh, I do have these listed already. Um, got the photos taken today and uploaded everything. Um, it doesn't matter which one we look at. They're, they're all pretty much the same. Well, not, not exactly the same, but you know, um, so two rings, I decided not to alter the rings, um, just because, cause I decided not to, I, I was going to try like, uh, painting them with that patina paint that works well on metal, but I was afraid that they wouldn't move as easily. Like, um, I thought, I thought they might get a little, a little bit rough, you know, the texture, so, so I decided not to do that. Um, so they're just silver. I just, I, um, on a ring bound journal, normally I will just do a tie closure like this, just mostly because it's the easiest thing for you to use. Um, I think the last ones I did were the, the book house ones and those have the elastic that went around this direction. Um, but I didn't, I, you know. Anyway, and I lo and I have all of this so much seam binding. I want to start trying to use it. Anyway, so a seam binding closure, and then some collaging on the front. Um, you can see the um, the sealant that I used actually worked really well. I'm really happy with it. It's not um, tacky or you know it doesn't it doesn't feel weird. So it it feels natural, you know. And then, um, so each one has some kind of little bead, bead charm on a little, uh, on a little bulb pen. And then I just did some other charms. I did alter some keys. I had some, some keys that, um, I don't know. I bought this big jar of keys. And so I did alter those with the, the patina paint and then just use some of that, uh, uh, wax on it. Um, and then like this one, this one has a little cross. I think there's two or three that have the little, have little crosses, some kind of little coin and then a little, this is actually a little paper tag that I painted. So anyway, so just a little charm. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I have all these, uh, quotes, these kind of like nature quotes that I had printed out on some blank ledger paper and I wanted to, you know, try to use some of these in some collages and I thought you guys would have fun just playing around with those and use them and use them on different pages or whatever. So I gave you a little selection of those, just tucked them into a little glassine bag and then um, a little bag of uh, postage stamps. So those are just clipped into the front. I didn't do a pocket on the inside of the front cover. 
um, mostly because I put one of these, um, these altered paper bags as the front page, kind of like with a dashboard or whatever. Um, so you do have a pocket right on the inside of the front cover, and then there's another pocket here. So I've got a mosquito bite right there. So sorry, guys. I know it looks gross. Um, anyway, and then this, so this would be your writing board. And I, all I did on this was just add a little charm. One of the ones that I did the stenciled number on um, with, a, with an eyelet there. So, uh, so this will be your writing board. And so you can take this out and, you know, put it wherever you want, wherever you need to use it to write. And I thought I would just stick it right there in the front. Um, so any of the like tags or anything like that, that I would have used in the journal, I decided not to put them in the pockets. Um, I just put everything into a little bag here. So everything is, is in here and you can put it in wherever you want. Um, anyway, so there's five tabbed dividers. Um, each one of the dividers has some sort of pocket. Okay. Some are smaller than others, but, um, and then this is a piece of that, um, that wrapping paper that I bought that was in the book, in book form, an altered, uh, uh, postcard, some old ledger, some more wrapping paper. I used a bunch of this wrapping paper or some coffee dyed paper, some old ledger and where I felt the paper was somewhat fragile I did put the reinforcements on and then I also gave you two sheets of reinforcements in the bag so you know if you feel like something needs a reinforcement you can add those yourself um, I gave you one of these pages from that five-year diary um, that has all the gardening stuff in it and another piece of ledger some more wrapping paper this is the marbled one it's my favorite this is a pocket made with an old envelope. Um, it's just some botanical type of pages, flash card. So I'm starting to get over my, you know, disdain for ring bound journals. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll make more. It's kind of like some people love using them. Some people hate using them. And one of the reasons people love using them is so they can, move things around, you know, and they can actually take the page out that they're working on if they're doing like art journaling or whatever. So, so it's good that, you know, I make them sometimes because I know that, um, a lot of people do like them. So, so I will probably make more in the future is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I had picked up this, uh, it was an old photo album and it had a, this is, this is the same photo album that many of the images came from that I used on the, on the covers. So a lot of these images were in the photo album that this, that these sheets came out of. So I took, they were kind of long, um, pages. So <clears throat> this is just like the clear plastic pages. And I just cut the, I cut like rows of, of the images, added some washi and then just, um, punched holes. And so I just gave you a bunch of little goodies and all of the little, uh, all the little pockets. I love, I love how Carla does that in, in her journals. And, um, she usually does it with like page protector sheets, you know? Um, so they're a little bit lighter weight and she'll actually use them as a page, like in a fold, like a, you know, regular journal. I think sometimes she does it in ring bound too, but anyway, so I just thought that would be cute to just use a few of these in the journals. I always love how she just tucked all kinds of little goodies in them. So, so that's what I did. Um, some avocado dyed paper. This is um, a doily that I scanned a long time ago and I've never, I never printed it, but I thought it was, I thought it was worth scanning. So I did. And I thought it turned out kind of cute. Um, some birds, kind of junky stuff, you know, um, some more wrapping paper, postcard from the bank. This is a page from a botanical book that I just glued onto some paper that I printed a grid design on. Reader's Digest and page uh, wrapping paper. It's one of those pockets from the, um, 
that Kodak negative like storage book that I got from Louise. Um, I love these. This is some ledger that I coffee dyed. Another altered postcard. I think there's like at least two, probably three of these in each journal. Um, this is a French uh, botanical book page. Some more ledger. So I sort of, I don't, I wasn't very good about counting how many pages I put in between each divider. So some, some have like five pages in between the dividers and then some have like 20. So they're all different anyway. Um, and then the stringed closure on one of these altered envelopes. There's one of these in each journal. These take practice <laughs> um, with a little price tag on the on the end of the string there. You can see, you guys can see. So I got my other um, <laughs> my other YouTube channel set up. I grabbed the the name. I I looked it up. The name that I wanted to use. Um, was already being was like already in use and so I had to kind of alter it but I think it's called I think I called it my crafty kitchen with Jess or something like that I don't know I might change it but <clears throat> I don't know I'm, I'm thinking about it guys I think I'm gonna do it I'm I'm gonna potentially my oldest son Conrad is trying to talk me into buying a Mac and he swears that I can do it and I can use it um, so that I can use the the iMovie software for editing. So who knows? Might be a whole new chapter for me. Um, anyway, so go see if you guys want to, you know, go see if you can find my channel and um, maybe if I get some subscribers, I'll actually make a video on there. It might be just kind of one that'll be like for practice to start out, you know. But if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, so here's see some of them are real small. Like I just did two of the little the little pockets. But I think they're cool. They're useful, you know. Um Oh, and I did use some of that wallpaper from the wallpaper books. There was a, a, a couple other ones in here, too, of that, that really old wallpaper that I got at the farm sale. So, yes, the ring-bound uh, journal is nice for using smaller pages and things like that because, um, you, you know, you don't have to you don't have to fold them and all that stuff. And you can just use like smaller things that, you know, might not be as useful in a regular bound book format. You know, um, this is some paper from that really nice music book that I got from Renee. Um, so let me show you what is in these bags. So I went through my filing cabinet drawer that was just filled with all kinds of stuff. So what you're going to get in your bag is going to be different for each journal. Um, sort of a surprise. Um, I just, I just went through all of the stuff that I've had in there, things that I've made, just little tags and little altered pockets um, if you find one of these in your bag, this is a paper clip. So it's a, um, how does this work? <laughs> oh, it's upside down. <laughs> um, it, it's a paper clip that if you get two envelopes like this and you can't seem to get them apart, it's because it's a paper clip and it'll just, it'll just hook onto a page like that. So you get a pocket on on both sides of your page. So 
anyway. So there, there was a whole bunch of these, and so I just put one in each pack. There was some little, um, just little notebooks and some other altered book page tags. This is the two sheets of uh, reinforcements. There's another altered um, postcard. Just some other tags made with vintage ephemera. Um, some scraps from ledger paper. A page from that tall little pocket ledger. A couple of those um, um, index cards. Some other images. A couple uh, Edith Holden page strips. <laughs> Um, and then some book pages from a couple of uh, botanical books that I coffee dyed. And, oh, this was a calendar. It's like a, um, there was one image for each month that I think I got at a thrift store. So, anyway, <clears throat> so each one has a nice little selection of, um, of goodies in the bag and I just tuck it inside the the front cover of the journal so some of them you know it'll be kind of a surprise um, there is a photo each listing does have a picture of like this the stack of these in you know in each one that comes with the journal um, so you can kind of get a peek at, at what's in your bag um, but you can definitely see the covers and all that so and there are 10 Im images I didn't do a video for each journal this time I was going to and because you can do like a little 15 second video now on Etsy which is really cool I think that's a really neat idea um, but anyway I just didn't I didn't feel like it so I didn't anyway <laughs> so yeah so there's three and I think I just numbered them um, I don't, I forgot to put the numbers on the journals, but don't worry. Um, when you purchase one, I can see an image of the journal. So I'll make sure you get the right one. But, um, yeah, so there's seven available. This is the one that I was working on mostly, um, on the recent videos, I think. I don't remember, but anyway, this, I love this one. Look at this little family. And I wish I would have done one of these images, one of these photos on each cover. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to use some of these floral, um, some of these flowers too. So anyway, so I guess it just depends on what you like, but, um, yeah, so go check them out and, uh, also want to let you guys know that um, Sebastian did list a bunch of um, book bundles in his shop last week and is, as we speak, working on doing some more listings of, I think, mostly single books in his shop. So, um, so go check out, go check out Sebastian's shop, Millsap Mercantile, and I'll put a link in the description to the shop, to, to his shop. So. And yeah, go check out my new YouTube channel. No videos there yet, but hit the subscribe button when you land on it. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you. And thanks for all your support. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go to bed now. Okay, bye for now.